All right, so you just finished the tutorial for RF4, and now you're actually in the game at Winding or Mosquito, and you're going through a lot of the menu options here. You're going to the tackle store, and it looks too complicated, and you're wondering, do I still play this game, or do I quit and never play again? Well, that's what I'm here today to talk about, to show you what to do at level 1 to all the way to level 10, so that you can get a jump start to, make, to, to get on your way to level... 40, 50, level 30, whatever it may be. I'm here to kickstart you. So, you level one, you just enter Mosquito. And what do I do? All right, so we go to the menus here, right? There's a lot to discuss here. We're going to go through each option in detail, complete detail. But before we go into the menus, you're going to have a beginner rod and reel. You're going to have something probably like the arrow. I'm not sure if the arrow is what they give you to begin with. I forget. It's been a long time since I was a beginner. But... The arrow, if, if you don't have the arrow, the arrow is going to be like the rod you get because the arrow is also very trash. I use it for ultralight, but that's a story for another time. So the, the arrow here is 3 kilograms, so that's roughly what RF4 is going to give you for a rod to start the game out with. You're also going to have the reel that comes with it. I forget the name of it. I know it's black, and it's like 2-3 kilograms. It is not a good reel by any means necessary. So what would I would do first, before we talk anything about the menus... You want to go to the tackle store, you want to get enough silver, add it up, and let's go over the reels here, right? So don't worry about the low profile, all of these, you know, these are more advanced, and they cost more, so we'll talk about that later. But for now, you're going to want to look at these rods right, well not rods, these reels right here. So yeah, this is what you get, I think. Yeah, spark, that's what it's called. So you get the spark, you don't get this one, you get the size 2000, 3.2 kilograms of gear ratio 541. So it's a really trash reel. What I would recommend getting is at least getting your way up to the Express Fishing 3.8 kilograms. That's just to start out with. Even these reels are complete crap, but you're level 1 or you're level 2, all the way to level 10, and you just need a new reel. This is not going to be the best reel in the world by any means necessary. This is just to jumpstart you, okay? You can get the Express Fishing. It, I have used it. It is all right. But if you decide you want to save your silver up, silver up like Cory Lake, um, what do we got here? What's a good spinning and for feeding? So we got old bird coming up. We got uh, Balea, Cory, Bear. Yeah, Bear, not going to talk about that. Cory, Balea, and old bird. So with these three lakes, you're probably going to want to reel. You can, like, this is what I'm using right here is this one, the element for my ultralight rod. You can use that. But you want to get into a kilogram that's probably around, I'd say, for a beginner low level, five to seven kilograms is probably going to be your best friend. Now you can go with the Siberia Hydra for your first reel to start out with because it's cheap. It's 184 silver. Um, my first reel that I bought besides the Spark was the Mosquito, but it's not that great of a reel. I would not recommend it. <laughs> I was stupid at the time. Um, so yeah, for a low-cost silver, that will upgrade your reel just a little bit to get away from the Spark. You can go with the Express Fishing. You got the Express Fishing Lagoon, uh, the Hydra. The Element, even though the Element is not the best reel, but I do have this one right here. It is the 1,000 size. You can go with the 4,000 size with the 5.4 kilogram drag. This one would be the only one you would want out of all of these, and it's only 249 silver. That will not take you long to save up at all. And then a lot of people use the... Oh, how do you say that? I'm going to butcher this name. Ad Adriatica? Adri Adriatica, I'm sorry if I butchered that name, but a lot of people use this reel for bream at Old Berg. This reel is a definitely good starter reel. The first reel, if you want to buy your very first reel, this one is good to get. The Aldritica, Al Aldritica, <laughs> man, I'm so bad at pronouncing words. But yeah, so this reel right here is a really good starting one as well. And then you're getting up to the more expensive ones, which if you do want to save up the silver and you do want to go for the more expensive, you can. I would, if you want to decide you want to save up for your, for a good reel, for a good beginner reel, where is it? Uh, right here. So it's going to be this over, this reel right here. It's going to be quite some time until you save up for this reel, the Saber 40s and the Saber 60s. But do not get the Saber 40s. Save up for the Saber 60. That is right. The Saber 60 will last you all the way in, until Amber. Yes, yeah. So that reel will last you all the way to Amber. You can use it at Balea. You can use it at Bear. No, sorry, not Bear. I don't know why I keep saying Bear. Do not use it at Bear. 
Corey Lake, Volkov, be careful of Volkov, but you still can. Balea, Winding, Mosquito, Donut, Sora, Ladoga, and Amber is the last lake. I wouldn't use it in Amber, but I know a lot of people that have used the Siberia in Amber and also Bear Lake, but I wouldn't recommend it because if you got one ginormous fish on, and it might break your reel, and then now you saved all that silver up for nothing, and now you're broke. <laughs> so yeah, it'll last you all the way up to Amber besides Bear. So that's why a lot of people go with the Saber 60s. But if you do not want to save all that money up just yet, and you want something in the middle from the Spark to the Siberia 60, Saber 60, I would probably recommend going with the Adriatica reel right here. Uh, yeah, the Hydra, Ad Adriatica, <laughs> I'm butchering that so bad. So yeah, this one, this one, you can, if you really, really want to be cheap and you want to be fast and get away from the Spark, you can go with the Express Fishing. It, it's not the best reel in the world by any means necessary, even for beginner levels. I would highly recommend getting the Adretica reel. And then from there, once you have that, then you can save up to the Sabre 60 as the Adretica is only probably around 300 silver for the 5,000 size or the 6,000 size. You can go with the 3,000 size for a little bit less of a kilogram drag, but I would highly recommend saving up for the Adretica 6,000, 5,000S. That's going to be right in the middle of the Saber 60s and will start you good. All right, so now we talked about reels at the beginner level. Let's go ahead and talk about the rods. So with the rod selection here, for the very beginning, look at all these rods. You're going to wonder like, oh my goodness, there is too many rods. I don't know which one that I'm going to buy. I just have no idea. Okay, so telescopic, telescopic rods. These are going to be for your float fishing. A lot of people prefer float fishing. I know a good friend, Cardenas. He is um, a good Twitch streamer, and he's also in my chat. He is a master at float fishing. That's all he does. He loves it. Um, so, yeah, if there's any tips that you need for float fishing, you can um, type in Cardenas, um, C-R-E-D-I-N-U-S for Cardenas. If you need help with float fishing, you can contact him. I bet you anything he would be happy to help you with the float because I'm not an expert on float fishing but if you do want to get into float fishing you can contact him th through in-game yeah through in-game R4 um, I'll show you right here so if you go to messages um, or players you can find Cardenas he, he'll he be happy to help you out with uh, with float fishing and give you some tips and advice off that because I'm not the best with float fishing so anyways move on to float fishing thank you Cardenas I appreciate it if you're watching this <laughs> all right so let's go back to rods here so now we have the Bulganese rods, same thing as telescopic. These ones will float fish as well. There's more higher advance. Um, we got match rods. You're not going to worry about that. That's that's more higher level. Um, so spinning and casting rods, these are going to be the two that you want. Jerking rods is for jerk bait. So you can go for like pike and all that. But I, I wouldn't recommend that at early level. Um, feeder rods is another one that you really need. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, picker rods, don't worry about that. Cart rods, don't worry about that until about Bear Lake and Amber. Spod rods, you definitely don't worry about that. It has way in-game advanced. You don't, you don't worry about that. Marker, same thing. Plicker rods, definitely don't worry about it. That's ocean rods. Don't worry, that's me a long time since so you unlock that. And boat rods, don't worry about it. So the only rods at the beginner level that you have to worry about would be either, if you want to get the float fishing, would be telescopic. Stay away from uh, the blog knees. It will take you a while to unlock that. So telescopic spinning rods casting rods and feeder so with the casting rods what's people are wondering what the difference from the spinning and casting rods is a lot of people can't find out what the difference is so with your casting rods these are the ones that can handle bait casters so with bait casters i'm not talking about these ones these are spinning reels right here all of these are spinning reels and these ones go on spinning rods you go down, you got your low pro low profile bait casters, and you got your classic bait casters, all right? So these two categories here can go on the casting rod. You cannot put a spinning reel on a casting rod, and you cannot put a casting reel on a spinning rod. That's not how it works. So if you want to you know, fool around with classic bait casting, you'll have to pick up a, um, a casting rod. I'm sorry about that, but that's how the game works. It'll be, it's a little more expensive, but I wouldn't recommend um classic bait casting at the very low end levels like level one two three to ten even 15 you know because it, it's just it is fun but because it costs a lot of money it's not worth it just yet if you're level 20 ish sure you know what if you want to save up for some nice classic bait casters go for it i'm not going to stop you 
But if you're low level, like level 1 through 10, you just got into the game, worry about spinning reels first. All right. So now that we got spinning reels on, uh, out of the way, uh, let's keep going about the rods here. So now we have spinning. So spinning, again, these ones can do the spinning reels, and then the casting rods can do the bait casters. All right. So now we talk about that. I want to show you what a good rod to buy is at a low early on level. All right. So you're going to have probably either one of these, the express fishing rod that the game might give you the trash. Okay. I'll be honest, the trash. You, you probably get this one, like a Corona. That's what you get. I remember that, right? Corona is what you get. This rod is absolutely nightmarish. It is disgusting. It is a bad rod. You do not want it. <laughs> so the rod you want to save up for is the heavy, the express fishing heavy this was my very first rod that i bought i i trolled cory with this i brought him some heavy fish with this rod it is a good excellent beginner level rod i would save up probably for you don't really need the, the heavy s80 you can go with the 70h and the xh as well these two even i think i think i bought the s70 i'm not sure i have it in my inventory let's see which one i bought the heavy where is it here there it is. So I bought the S70H. S70H. So if we go to rods, the S70H. So yeah, I bought this one. Okay, I thought I bought this one. So I bought the lowest one you can. And I brought big fish in on the littlest express fishing rod there is. Is the 78. So you don't need to spend 448 silver. You can easily spend 210 silver for the lowest one. And it will work just fine. This rod will last you all the way up to probably, I would say, Donuts River. Every lake or river be before Donuts will work just fine, except for Bear Lake. Again, this does not apply to Bear Lake. Bear Lake, you need cart rods and all that, so don't worry about it just yet. So all of these lakes, after Cory and then Volkov, it will work fine. Donuts, it will work fine. Sora, if you're trolling on Sora, it will probably work fine as well. Ladoga, there's no fish in here that will probably hurt, except for the, the... I'm not sure if you can catch the sturgeons on. I think you can with the spinning rods so sturgeon you got to watch out for the big uh big pike and all of that but still you'll be fine just do not go past ladoga archipelago you need more advanced setup with that uh if you try taking the heavies in there with your deal low and spinning reel you're going to get absolutely destroyed and then you're never going to play the game again um starting at ladoga archipelago that's when you need bigger and heavier equipment because a lot that more fish and bigger fish so yeah, I'll get to talk about that later in the video, but for now, it will work all the way to Ladoga Lake. Um, so it's a cheap rod that'll last you a very long time. So, so if you go back to the rods here, uh, spinning. So we talked about the heavy. I also bought the premium stick. Um, which one do I have? So this one. I bought the premium stick S78 um, H. This one also works very well. It's, I would say it's a tiny bit better than the heavy, tiny bit. It's not noticeable. You don't need this one. It's 350 silver. So if you want the premium stick or the heavy, it is totally up to you. They're both, they're roughly about the same. Um, yeah. And so once you get the heavy or the premium stick, from there, I would start saving up probably for the linear, the Siberia linear. This is the one that you want, right? So I went ahead and bought the linear S88XH after my um, heavy rod, my my uh, heavy, and what's the other one again? Heavy and uh, the premium stick, right? So the premium stick and heavy, I used that until Cory, and then after Cory, I went ahead and I bought the linear. The linear linear is right in the middle from the premium stick and the model ones and Super Duty. Super Duties and model ones are kind of end game rods, not really end game because there are better ones than that but model ones will get you all the way to a C. you know once you unlock you know even like yama river model I, I still use model ones as my main rods and i i have fished trophies i've fished 30 40 kilogram fish on the model ones and perfectly fine but anyways that's for another time but these are right halfway from the, the express heavy and the premium stick and the model ones so if because i would say save up from the premium and heavy to the model ones but the model ones are very i'll show you in a bit they're very very expensive so i would recommend going with the linear if you want to upgrade your rod from the heavy and the premium this you'll feel a lot 
a lot of a difference with the linear. It is a really reliable and good rod. And it is 941 silver, so not the end of the world. It's not the worst, you know, to save up for that amount. And then, fine, I'm not, I shouldn't be talking about this because this is beginner level guide. And this is kind of going a little beyond low level. It's kind of going med med medium level now to high. But if you, after you get the linear or a rod around that, you're going to want to upgrade it to like the end game spinning rods, right? So you can go with the Siberia Super Duty or with the Model 1. I never used Super Duty. I have used the casting rod of the Super Duty and I loved it. But I prefer the Siberia Model 1, this one right here. I believe it is 19 or 1800 silver. It is very expensive. It's a big jump from this one to this one. A very big jump. But this is the one you're going to want to get for your end game rod. I still use this today. And yeah, and I'm level 39. So yeah, very good rod. I'll save up for this if you could. You're going to need three of them. So that's around probably 6,000 silver. So that's why I don't want to get into it because you're not going to save up that much in a very long time. So we're going to get away from that. So yeah, so the premium to the heavy and the premium stick and then upgrade it to the linear. And then from the linear, upgrade it to the Super Duty or the Model 1. That's what I recommend. Maybe other people have different opinions on what they would do, but that is what I did. And I was successful. I went from level 1 to level 40. So I was pretty successful. <laughs> I know what works and what doesn't work. So you got that, all right? And for some reason, if you do want to go with the casting rod, I'm going to go in casting rod here, right? So I would recommend you can go with the Belmore. They're good too. Cheap, cheap casting rods. Um, I would try to save up for a Super Duty. Even the lowest one here is 1300 silver. But the thing is though, even if you save up for this, then you got to save up for a bait caster. But if you do want to save up for a bait caster, I don't know why you would early on. But if you do, I'll show you which one you want to buy. So if we go to not low profile, we want the actual classic bait casting. All right. Um, yeah, so the difference from the low profile and the classic bait casting is low profile bait casting reels. They're not meant for big fish at all. They're more meant for ultra light. They're meant for tinier fish and with a bigger fight. It's, it's people do it to have fun with. And when, when they're higher level, they want to have fun again, yeah, but it's meant for, it's basically an ultra light reel is what it is. And so, and, and also too, it can cast far. Classic bait casters cannot cast that far, but low profiles can. But I wouldn't recommend low profile because uh, their their kilogram drag is not very high. Like the, the max one here is what? Yeah, 8.6, 9 kilograms. They're meant for ultra light. And so you're paying like 9,000 silver for a 9 kilogram. It's not worth it. 2,000 silver for 6 kilogram. It's not worth it. People buy this to have fun when they're end game level. They want to go back and have a fight. And they want ultralight, so they use all this type of stuff. But don't worry about that. You don't need to worry about that for a very long time. If you want to buy a classic baitcaster, a cheap one that will do just fine, I would recommend, well, I, I use the steel head, but that's 2,500 silver, 2,300 silver. That's too much for you guys. I, for pike fishing, I go ahead and buy the Spider 400 RS. It is not the strongest reel in the world, but for a beginner reel, for your first one that you want to buy yourself, you can go ahead and buy the Spider 400 R2, 7.5 kilograms for 500 silver. It can handle, I brought in 10 kilogram pike with it before, with a fight, yes, but it's possible. You can probably bring in 12 kilogram fish, definitely possible. But that's only for the people who actually want to go with the bait casters. I know there's some odd, some odd, odd people of you, um, that odd people that want to buy the classic bait casters. So that's why I went ahead and talked about the classic bait casters because a lot of people are going to want to use it, or some will at least. So there you go. If you want to save up for a really nice one, you can go for the steelhead. Siberia steelhead is really good. I used that for about half a year. I absolutely loved it. So yeah, there you go. I'm not going to talk about high, higher than the steelhead because that's not that's not beginner. Because the next one up is like 10,000 all that silver. So we're not going to worry about it. So there you go. So now let's see what else we can talk about here. I'm not going to do float fishing because I'm not an expert. That's Creedinus. Um, that's his uh category right there, not mine um let's see here spinning casting did that jerking rods i'm not going to get into because that is because you're not you're not going to unlock jerking rods for a long time you need a high-end skill level for that so i'm not going to talk about it feeder rods here we go this is probably the last rod option i'm going to talk about this 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 episode is going to be probably an hour long <laughs> but i'm just trying to help you guys and girls out who are beginner levels just unlocked the, um the tutorial and have no idea what to do because when i first unlocked the tutorial and i got onto mosquito 
for the first time, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I didn't. I looked at the grocery store, I looked at the tackle shop, and I, honestly, I looked too complicated, and I was about to quit the game and never play again because it's just I don't like complicated games. I really don't. You know, I like having fun. You know, go right at, go right to the point. But so I, no one told me what to do in this game. I did everything myself. I didn't even look up what to get. I just went by my head and did everything on what my gut said to do. So now that I have learnt. I have wasted thousands of silver, or probably tens of thousands of silver, and now I know what to get and what not to get, so you guys don't make the same mistake I did. So I can tell you what's good and what is not good. So now we are on feeder rods, all right? Wait, it says I have this rod. I have no idea. I never bought that rod in my life. Um, <laughs> so a green thing in the top left, that means you have it, you own it. I don't remember getting this one, but anyways, for feeder rods, you are definitely going to want to get... Where is it here? The model one feeder. No, for, it was Fortuna. Where is it? Right here. Fortuna feeder rod. This is the one that you're going to want to get. Wait, hold up. No, that's not the one. Where is it? Sorry, my mind's going off here. Where is it? Do, 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 do. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I was wondering, I'm like, why is my rod not in here? Like, what? Because these are feeder rods. I am so sorry. This is feeder rods. So, what I would do is, don't worry about feeder rods. I, th I thought, I forgot that cart rods were separate from feeder, because I thought they were all together, but they're not. Don't worry about feeder rods, to be completely honest with you. Go to cart rods, all right? There we go. This is what I'm looking for right here. So, cart rods are feeder rods. They're just more of a super duty. They're more of a tougher rod to handle cart, big cart. So, for the feeder rods or cart rods in the future, this is this is what you're going to want to save up for. I'll show you a couple options that you can get early on before this, but this is the main feeder rod or cart rod that you want. You can use cart rods as a regular feeder. You can use cart rods on any map to fish for any fish you want. It's not just cart. So, it's the Fortuna cart rod. This is the one that you want right here. Fortuna Carp 360XXH. This is going to be around 1900 silver, and you're going to need three of them. So that might take you a while, and you might not want to get three of them right off the bat because they're too expensive. So you're going to ask me, is there another rod cheaper than that that I could do just fine with until I can save up enough silver to get the Fortuna cart rod? Well, the answer is yes, you can. So if you want to stick with cart rods, you can. If you want cheap ones, you can go with the Express Fishing Pursley cart. So it is 700 silver to 755, and you got a 20 kilogram load capacity. 20 kilograms, all right? If you go with the Fortuna, the reason why you want Fortuna is, look at this. So, this is the one you have. You want 39 kilogram load capacity. That is huge. So, any fish below 39 kilograms, it will haul in if you have the right reel for it. Just because it says the rod can do it with that 39 kilograms does not mean your reel can do it. You also need a reel that can handle as well. So yeah, there is what you want to save up for. Is it Fortuna cart rod? Everybody has it. 99.9 .9 million percent of people have the Fortuna cart rod, even at end game level. Because I still do. I still use Fortuna at the end game level. But if you don't want to buy that, you can buy the Persley because it still has a good yeah 20.20.1 20 kilograms and 20.1 kilograms. Okay. If you don't want a cart rod, you just want a feeder rod. You can do that too. You can easily go ahead and buy a cheap one. Like you can buy the Fortuna feeder right here. Uh, for 478 a little bit cheaper than the cart rod you still get 19 kilograms of load capacity there 17.7 kilograms see if you go lower there is 380 silver it's a lot cheaper and yeah it's still 16 kilograms that's for beginner level that is really good 16 kilograms is amazing for beginner level so you can go with that and you can go for even cheaper ones if you want but I would just honestly save up, you know, grab your cheapest equipment that the game gave you, the spark and then the, the, the arrow, I believe it is, and just fish and fish and fish until you get enough silver to buy at least one setup and then keep buying the setups. Another thing to talk about is if you do not want to do that and you just want to buy the kits, you can buy, yeah, you can buy kits in this game. So right here. So these are kits right here. So if you're lazy, you're not really lazy, you just, you're too, it's too, it's still too complicated and you just don't know still what to buy for reels and rods. Well, if you buy a kit, everything is applied, everything is given to you for a complete setup for that, for that rig or that rod. So we can do spinning light. I wouldn't do spinning light. No, no, not a chance. 
um, spinning universal start. There you go. So this so this set kit will get for 149 silver. You can get a 5.9 kilogram low capacity rod, the dynamic. You can get the express fishing laser T2, which is 3.8 kilograms, and then it gives you some line as well. So you can go ahead and buy the kit for 149 silver. You get all the complete setup. But it's it's up to you. I wouldn't recommend it. But if you're just sick and tired and you don't want to save up and you're just sick and tired of the spark and the arrow, it's too too crap for you. You can go ahead and buy one of these kits if you want. You can buy the Pro. This is the Siberia Liner. So you get the Liner here, 13.5 kilograms. Not the best Liner in the world. But you got the Siberia Dragon 40s for 5.8 kilograms. And remember, it's not all about the kilograms. You also want to go about mech weight as well. I'll say, say for instance, you know, I have no idea. I could pull up, but uh, I won't. <laughs> um, so say this has a 5.8 5 kilograms to Siberia Dragon, but the mech weight may be like, say, maybe 20,000. Or not, sorry, 20,000. 20, they can haul in like 20 kilogram fish or, fish or 25, 30, whatever it may be. But because this is a spinning reel, you're not going to have that option. If you so the one advantage with the classic bait casters is that they have mech weights. They, these do too, but you can't really use it because you need to lock your reel in order to use the mech weight. Kind of, you cannot lock your spinning reels. You can, but it just doesn't work the way classic bait casters do. So classic bait casters, you can lock the reel in, and once you lock it with the infinity symbol, like, like a max drag, it will lock into your mech weight and your mech weight is a lot more powerful than your kilogram so with a classic bait caster you can get a five kilogram classic bait caster but because it says five kilograms if you if you max the drag out on that classic bait caster and it has say um 15 000 mech weight or 10 000 mech weight you can haul in probably even 15 kilogram fish with that five kilogram reel so that's another thing classic bait casters and heavy bait casters have an advantage of is that they have another locking gear not just the, not, not just the max drag they also have the um, lock at the very at the fanny symbol so this is what i'm talking about here i'll bring this out oh wait the one that has a uh this is in the works in the workshop i'm repairing my ocean reel right now so i can't bring that one out uh so let's bring the fortuna out, right so this is what i mean by locking it out so this is 29 right fixture break 29 if you go one more you see the infinity symbol there that means you're maxed out do not do this on spinning reels. Do not complain to me if you did it because I told you not to. Do not max your spinning reels out. Do not do it. It does not apply to that. Only the bait casters it applies to. If you max it out, it will use your mech weight. Starting using mech weight. Your mech weight is a lot higher than your kilogram drag. It can do a lot more. And that's for another video because if I get into that, that's going to be like another five hours. So I'm trying to make this video as short as possible. <laughs> So yeah, that's an advantage of classic bait casters as well. They have an extra locking feature. All right. So we talked a lot about what you can get, use. So I think we should start talking about line because a line is very important. Um, yeah. So if you go to lines right here, don't worry about these ones. Skip by all of these. You want braided line. Because uh, the nylon is just not good. It is trash line. I'm sorry if some people do use it. I'm sorry. But for me, I don't like it. So you want to go down to braided line. Okay. And um, actually, before we start talking about braided line, I missed the most important reel of the game. And um, that is the caliber HSV. That's the reel you want to start saving up for. For the spinning reel section, that's what you want to save up for. Where is the HSV? Where are you, buddy? Where are you? You're here somewhere. Why can't I find you? There it is. So it's it's out of stock. It usually is. Unless you're a Volkov, it's out of stock. It always is. But the caliber HSV is what you want to save up for. Everybody, I'm not going to do, I'm not even going to do 99.9%. 100% of people who play this game always end up buying the caliber HSV. And then this is the gateway to the bigger reels. Um, Yeah, so... This is definitely the gateway, you know, and you know how they talk about, I'm not going to talk about it at all, but yeah, I'm just going to say one thing, you know, how people say, you know, oh, this is the gateway drug to leads up to these higher ones. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. This is the same thing as reels. This is going to be your gateway reel. All right. Once you save up for the caliber HSV, the HSV will last you pretty much into all the maps. Well, can do the HSV, all the maps, except for C Well, even C people even use the HSVs at C. It's just how good of a reel it is because it has a 15 kilogram 
drag capacity and has a semi-ish good mech weight to it, but again, mech weight doesn't really matter if you can't really lock in the um, lock in the reel, even though mech weight is still important because it, it, it goes in all the factors, not just the, um, the locking position, but it's a, it's a really good reel, HSV. Everybody has it. Everybody does. And the HSV is, I, I believe, 2,800 silver. I know it's a lot of silver, but once you have the caliber HSVs, you're good to go. You can stop saving up for reels. You can stop saving up for rods. You got everything. If you pair this with the Model 1, even with the linear. Like, remember I told you early in the video to save it for a linear? That's the middle rod to get. Well, I have put the HSV on the linear. I bought the HSVs when I had the linear rods. And amazing. A big difference. Oh, my. It's a big game changer. So, you can put that on the linear. I wouldn't go any any rod smaller than the linear to put the caliber HSVs on. But that is a good combo. And then, and then you can upgrade to the Model 1s with the HSV, and then you're set to go. Yeah, okay, I, I can't believe I forgot the HSV. I can't believe it. All right, now we can go to lines here, all right? Like I said, skip by that, and now you're braided. So, if you have the Sabre 60s, or you have even the, a lower tier end, like the Dredica or the, uh, the Spark, what I would recommend doing is, I love these two lines. I love the Simmons, Simmons Extra Silk. Well, actually, I lie, there's three I like. Extra Silk BL XL. The only thing difference from these two is the color. Basically, that's it. Um, I love the yellow line. You can use the green, but I love this one right here, the yellow braid. And also, too, is the spider wire. Where is that here? Spider. Do, do, do. Oh, okay. So the snake one is under nine. I'm sorry. My my bad. I thought that this one was under um, the uh, braid line. Okay, so it's not. Is it? Could have sworn that the okay hey, maybe it's not oh it is okay no i i'm just confused i'm just confused I, I didn't see the the snake here and i went up and i seen the snake over here this is a different kind of snake all right so i'm mumbling here i'm sorry okay so yeah you definitely want braided now i found it the snake power braid grn 300 meters i thought this one was was uh this one but it's not so the snake power braid grn is one of my favorites to use this one to you want lighter color you can go ahead these two are my favorite i love the simmons um extra silk and then i love my uh right here the solid materials the yellow braid you can use whatever you want so if you decide you want to go the simmons um blue line here say if you get the spark all the way up to dredica which is like a five kilogram drag and the mech weight on those wouldn't be too high. So what I would recommend getting is probably around probably a 15 kilogram line. 13, 15 kilograms. You can use 10 as well. So 10 all up to 15. So any of these three lines you can put on the Adretica or the, not Spark, <laughs> the Adretica. I would put these three on. If you're using the HSV, I would go ahead and probably use the 60 pounds right here, 28 kilograms. If you're using the, uh, the Saber 60s or the Adretica, I would highly recommend, well, the Adrelica, I would use, yeah, the 10.2, 13 to 15. If you're using the Sabre 60, I would recommend probably using the 21 kilograms all the way up to the 28 kilograms, these two. So the Sabre 60, these two, the Adrelica reel, these three right here. And if you're using, still using the Spark, if, you know, somehow you're just saving up from the Spark to Mono 1, which is a very bad idea. I know some people who did that, and yeah, it did not go so well. <laughs> But if you do want to end up saving for that, for the Spark, I would recommend probably only about, I'd go as high as the 5 kilograms. You can use 8. I wouldn't go any higher than 8. Not a chance. Not with the Spark. So you can use anywhere, all these four if you want, for the Spark. Okay, so that's with the Simmons Silk. Same thing with the Snake Power Braid. I would only go with probably a, yeah, I told you already. You know what the kilograms. I said the kilograms. So you can use that and apply that with Snake Line or the Yellow Braid right here. All right. So now that we talked about the line situation, now we have leaders. Leaders are very important in this game. Probably one of the most important things in the game. So if we go to Vic Opponents Leaders, I'm, I'm not going to really talk about the custom-made leaders because you're going to need a higher end. Well, you can buy it low level, but you want to save your silver up for a lot of better things than the, the clippers that you need for making leaders. And they're also expensive. The line that you need to buy and all of that to make the leaders... It's just not worth it at the beginner level. Don't worry about it. If you see other people do it, don't worry about it. 
if you need custom made line like 60 centimeters or 35 kilogram 20 whatever it may be if you need custom made leaders let me know in game chat dm me in game and i will help you out with all the leaders you want i love helping people out so if you need custom made leaders let me know and i'll make some for you don't buy the custom made tools yourself or the line at a beginner level because it's a waste of silver you need to save your silver up for a lot of better things than that so for beginner level what i would recommend for leaders depends what you're fishing for but mostly what i would use for 90 percent of fishing out there what i would do is recommend is the fluorocarbon leader I would go with the 11.6 kilogram, 14 silver right here. These are trash, but when you're beginner level, these will work just fine. But once you get to like level 15-ish or 20, you're going to want to start getting away from these and buying the custom-made tools and all that. But the, I'll make another video, again, separate from all of this, for more of a medium ochre. You know, if you're level 20-ish, level 30-ish, I'll make a video on that. But this is strictly for beginner level 1, probably through 15 max. So... I would buy a head 11.6 kilograms. If you know the fish that you're um, fishing for is very tiny and there's no chance you'll catch onto a big one, you can buy the little versions one, the 3.1 or 6.4. Um, the, the more little the line is, the thinner the line, even fluorocarbon, the, the, the fish will have a harder time seeing it and they'll probably have a better bite rate because they can't see it. But even fluorocarbon, you just if you can make it, say, an 80 kilogram fluorocarbon, you think to yourself, oh, oh it's fluorocarbon, it says that it's the fish can't see it. Well, if you made like a 40, 50, all the way to 100 kilogram fluo liter, the fish will see that. Even though it's see-through, if you made a thick, thick, thick line, you're going to see it. All right. Like if you made, if you put like a little glue spot on the table, so like if you put a glass table down, right? Put a little glue strip, you're probably like clear glue. You're probably not going to see a little bit of it, right? But if you put a bunch of a, like a huge strip of glue, clear glue, even though if the glass table is clear as well, if you put a lot on it, you're going to start seeing that glue, right? That's an example I made up. <laughs> Same thing with fluorocarbon leaders, right? The bigger you get, they're still going to be thicker and the fish have a chance of seeing it and that might scare them away. So 11.6 kilogram right here. I'd recommend this one. Well, I don't really recommend it, but that's all you have. All the option you have is I would get this one. Like I said, if you want to. If you want better, like a 35 kilogram, 20 kilogram, 60 centimeters, let me know and I'll make it for you and send it your way. Just ask. And there's other leaders, like you can get steel leaders and all of that, but like, like steel leaders, I'm for like pike, the fish that have big teeth, you people use steel leaders on, but you don't need steel. I would say you, the only way you would need steel leaders if you're early in game level, you don't have access to custom made leaders yet, and you want to fish for some pike and all that yes go for it but if just let you know if you use steel leaders then the bite rate for all the other fish that don't have teeth are going to go down by like 90 percent so you do not want to use steel leaders i would recommend it because i would just save up if you want to go pike fishing i would wait because if you get custom made fluocarbon if you make a 35 kilogram 60 center fluocarbon leader you can get a blue tag pike on and it's not going to chomp through that leader it's not going to you use this leader right here, the 7.6 kilogram, and you go pike hunting, it's going to chomp that bad boy off pretty damn fast. So, unless you don't have access to custom made, you can't make a higher end fluorocarbon leader, yes, go with the steel if you want to go for pike and all that, but I don't recommend that. I really don't. Just stick with the fluorocarbon. So like I said, ask me. I'll make you a 35 kilogram, 20 kilogram, whatever you want, 60 centimeters, if you want to go fish a pike, wherever you want. I can make that for you. Don't worry about all the other ones here. They're just a waste. Nobody uses them. Uh, <laughs> you got your feeder leaders here. The same thing as these ones, but for feeders. Um, make sure it's always fluocarbon for the feeders and classic leaders for spinning. Don't worry about hands. Lead cores do not worry about marine. Yeah, shock. Don't worry. Leader materials. That's what you need to make um, line. Okay, so say you do want to make line your earth level, but you still want to make your own. You don't want to ask me. You just want to make your own. Okay, how do I make my own? Okay, fine. You got the clippers, right? So the line, so the, what you're going to need is, where is it here? I got to find it. Um, do, 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 do. It's not in here, is it? No, I have to go to lines. It's here, it tricks you. You're going to go through this section. It did for me a few times. You're going to look through here, right? And you're going to look for the, the you're going to look for the um, um, fluocarbon line. It's not going to be here. This one, it gets mistaken. This is pure carbon, but it's not the fluocarbon that you want. You get, you can get mistaken. I bought a few of these waste and silver, thought it was fluocarbon, but it's not, okay? So if you want to use and make your own, you have to go back to lines here, right? So if we go to lines, 
you're going to want the fluocarbon lines. So if it's here, so fluocarbon, okay? So this one right here, this is the one I get, okay? I usually get 35 kilograms. This one will make you the 35 kilogram 60 centimeter fluocarbon line right here, all right? I would use this. These will get you higher than the 11 kilogram in the shop. So yeah, these are all your flu line. You put the line on, and then now for the accessories, right? Um, leaders for your accessories, because now you put this in your slot. Now there's another slot for your sex accessory. Um, these four are good. They're all right. But the one you want is this one right here, the solid materials, snap and swivel, this fancy looking bag here. And you're going to want to match it up to what your leader is. So say you make a 35 kilogram leader. Well, you're probably going to want a 36 kilogram or even a 42 kilogram will work just fine. You can use 15, 60. I don't think it makes much of a difference, but just to be on the safe side, you know, match it and pair it to the size that your line is. So if it's like I said, 35 kilograms, go with 36, 42, uh, even 30 would probably work, but probably not because it's lower. It'll probably, it'll probably make the line 30 kilograms instead of 35. So 36 or 42, these are the two that you want. If you make a 20 kilogram line, you're going to want 21 kilograms or 24. Okay, so you, you get what I'm going here, right? All right, so that's what you want. So now there's your custom-made leaders. There's your leaders. There's everything that you need to know about leaders, all right? Le these right here, lead core is about cart fishing, so don't worry about it. Uh, not, until, not until you get to Bear Lake and Amber. But so that's the leaders. Very, very important, all right? I'm trying to see if there's anything else we need to talk about in this section. We got lines. So hooks, all right? Hooks. Depending on what fish you're fishing for, a lot of the tinier fish, like you got Ruffy, you got Donut Ruffy, you got Chinese Sleepers, you got like Bleak, you got um, you got a lot of those species in the water. You got Crucian Carp, Gibble Carp, right, in the waters. What I would recommend if you're bottom fishing and all that, go with tiny hooks. And these ones right here, you don't need these expensive. You can go ahead and use these ones very, you know, less expensive. But these are the ones I usually buy is tiny. So if I'm going for really tiny fish, I'm going to put on the happy hook, the tiny hook. It's more of a chance of catching them. Because if, if you put bigger hooks on and the fish is not that big, well, they can't get their small mouth around those hooks. And so you're probably going to lose out in the bite rate. So small fish, tiny hooks. Um, you can use medium, small, and medium hooks for small fish. Those will give you a bigger chance of trophies because then you, because the bigger the fish, you know, if you if you got a small little roughy or a small bleak, that can only bite the tiny hook. If you got a trophy sized bleak or roughy, they're going to be bigger, which means a bigger mouth, which means a bigger hook. So if you want a slower bite rate and you want bigger fish, you can go put like a medium hook on. I wouldn't go anything higher than a medium for small fish. Large, you will not catch anything. So small, medium for the bigger fish, small bite rate. But for the best bite rate, I'd go with the tiny right here. If you're going from medium to large size fish, what I would recommend is getting this one over here, the Simmons Silk Series. I would go ahead and use, where is it here? It's right here. So the medium. Medium hooks to large. Do they have large here? Yeah, they do. So large and medium is what I would use for medium to large fish. If, if you're going for a large species and you want like a trophy size or a massive beast, you can go with the extra large hooks. Like I said, bigger the fish, bigger the mouth. They can put the mouse around these bigger hooks. But the, the bite rate will slow down tremendously. So I'd recommend for medium to large fish, put a medium to a large hook on. For small fish, use any from tiny, small to medium. All right. So now we got our hooks. And all the difference is from the hooks, it's just the better ones, you know, the, the, it'll, it'll, it's sharper. You'll hook on better. The less odds of the fish um, getting away. If you buy the cheapest hook in the world, like this one, the chances of your fish getting away is really high. And, but if you bought, say, this one, the highest one, the chances of the fish getting away is very slim. All right. So that's what the difference basically is. Um, yeah, you don't really need to know about like, jig heads. Yeah, you don't worry about these for now. Don't worry about it. Um, so you got your lures. Okay, another big important factor. If you're fishing winding, quarry, whatever it may be, mosquito even. I'm not sure why you'd um, spin mosquito, but you can. <laughs> I would even belay a river. I would use these spinners, right? I'm not going to recommend you get any of these right here, except for the ones down here. A lot of people... Do use these ones right here and have luck with them. I never use them. I have used them way back in the day. I never had luck with them. So I would recommend buying the spikers, the hornet and the spikers. This one right here worked really well for me early on too. The only one in the section all the way up here, this is the only one that worked well for me. But besides this one, 
I would recommend the Hornet 1 and the Spiker 2. Doesn't matter what color, the Spiker 2s are the way to go. They're going to get you the best bite rate and the best fish, in my opinion. The Hornet, same thing. They're just as good as Spikers, in my opinion. Really good. You look at the price, they're very pricey. 45 all up to 55 silver. Very expensive um, lures or spinners, right? But these will, will catch a lot of fish in a small amount of time. You, you want to make sure you get them. Don't worry about the, the size 3, 4, or 6. Do not get these three down here. Do not. The bite rate will go down. I have tried using the biggest spikers and hornets. I have got like one or two fish. Oh, it's horrible. Do not waste silver on these ones right here. Make sure it is the size number one hornet and the number two spiker. Don't worry about the bottom ones here. Just go with these two right here, all right? All right, so now you got spoons. You, sh you don't have to worry about spoons until probably Cory ish I would say. But... Um, the Hunter 3 is very good. I'm just trying to speed the video now because I know this video is probably not like it's probably 45 minutes by now. So I'm just trying to speed through it here. The Hunters are very good. I would go with the Hunter 3. It's the smallest one. Remember, the higher lures you have, the more weight it's going to be. So your rod may not be able to handle the weight. Be careful because on the bottom right, it will be red and yellow if, it's, if your rod is maxed out. So be careful on the lookout for that. But I recommend the Hunter 3 is a good one. Um... The Volkov Lure, this one is really good. Um, I've used the, um, on Tangatska, it's a higher end map, but I had luck with the Vakino. Very, very solid lure right there. And that's about it. Well, I have used also the Karuna. The Karuna is what I use, and it's really good. So the Karuna right here, you got the Karuna, and then you got the um, Volkov Lures and the Hunters. Those are the ones I'd recommend to get. Wobblers, don't worry about it. That's a higher end of the maps. You don't really need to worry about wobblers too much. So, yeah. yeah. I don't have to worry about any of those. All right. So, that's good. And your baits. Okay. Another important selection here is baits. Okay. So, a lot of fish species prefer different baits here. I would recommend using red worms no matter where you go when you're beginner level. Red worms have the best bite rate in my opinion. If you're too cheap and lazy, you can go with the nature worm. Regular ones, it will work as well, but not as significantly as the red worms. I find red worms have the best bait for like 90% of the fish that you go for. Um, the night crawlers are basically more for nighttime. That's why it's called night crawlers. You can use them during the day. You can probably get some fish. Yes, 100%. But it's more for nighttime fish. A lot of the nighttime species fish love night crawlers. Like Burbit love night crawlers. You got Sturgeon loves night crawlers. Um, you got um, Ruffy can like night crawlers. Um, I don't know. Big fish. Love night crawls. A lot of fish at nighttime prefer night crawls. Chinese sleepers prefer it. Um, yeah, a lot of species. Don't worry about leeches. Gold. You can unlock it through the skill level way on. So don't worry about leeches right now. Bloodworm. Yes, another bait you can use. Maggots. You can use um, casters, caddisflies, mayfly larva, um, bark beetle larva. Like my Cory video that I made. You can use beetle larva, um, stonefly, and then don't worry about the gold. So yeah, I'm not going to go through any of these because they're just another bait that you can use. You can try it out and see what your luck is. Um, there's more here if you want. Um, there's also your porridge and dough and all this. I'm going to get into that in a second here. So I'm not going to talk about it right now because I, I am going to get into it. You've got your naturals here that you can buy. These are from a more carp-ish fish right here. Like this tracks carp, most of them. Um, yeah, do, 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 got all of that. Don't worry about any of these, frog. Don't worry. And don't worry about that. Okay. So now I think we can get into the these kind of baits. I think make sure read components. Make sure I'm not weights. You shouldn't have to worry about weights for a little bit here. Okay, um, ground bait. You are going to get the ground bait as well. Um, accessories. You don't have to worry about that. Marine. Yeah, no, I don't worry about that. Okay, so I think we discussed all the most important for the most beginner levels that we need to talk about. So now let's go with ground bait. All right. So ground bait is meant for feeding or bottom fishing it adds another level of uh, attractant to the fish um like I'll, I'll show you here in a second so they make balls of the ground bait balls right um so say i put this back to basic and i'll switch it out so these are feeder cages right you're going to want a feeder cage you can get the most littlest one you can get this is a feeder cage so this is where you put your ground bait in right here okay this is where you make your ground bait and that's how you make ground bait, as what we see in the store here. Ground bait, we're all right here. All right. And you're not going to be able to unlock most of this stuff until later on. If you're just beginning the game out, just start playing the game, 
you're probably only going to have up to like these levels right here unlocked. You need a lot higher skill level to have all of these unlocked here. But this is how you make ground bait. There's a lot of options here, right? So the most important ones that you're going to want to make, don't worry about the custom made ones, you know, that's for higher up. But, you know, for the beginner levels, you might want Bream Mix, right? So for RF4, they give you what you need already. Well, not give you, but they show you what you need. So it's a little bit easier. So Pure Barley, okay, I don't have any of that. How do I get that? Just go to the go to the tackle store, type in Pure Barley. It will come up. You can buy that. Um, Bream, I believe you need like a skill level 20-ish, I think, around there. So you need a little bit of a grind to get to the Bream level. But put maggots in there, millet porridge and oil. Um, we can make it custom made. It's putting corn flour in there, you know. Let's put some, I don't know, peach. Who's like peaches? I love peaches. All right, you put some peaches in there, all right? Uh, who else can put in there? Some spicy pineapple, some peaches, all right? But this is not really ground bait. I'm just putting in um, oilies. Um, usually you have like a package of like, I don't know. I'll show you. So though in the middle part there, you put this stuff in right here. So this additives, they're called additives right here. That's what you put in, not those boilies. I'm just putting those boilies for example, but you know what, let's buy this. You know, instead of boilies, let's put this in and not confuse people here because they're gonna, they're gonna be like, what the heck is that? So let's go to ground bait. Let's put that in, let's replace this with um, down here. That's all I got, okay. So there's my millet porridge and then now you need at least attractant, right? So the attractants is in the store as well. So let's put hemp seed oil, right? And then you can also name your ground bait. So like, what's up? Or I don't know. Let's put um, I don't know, ground bait one. All right. You can call it whatever you want. All you do is make, right? And there you go. You're going to have a quality. I have quality 8 out of 10 because I leveled up my skill making of the ground bait to make higher quality. But you can have quality from 1 to 10. Quality 1 to 5 sucks really bad. I'll just throw it out. You want quality at least 6 to 10. That's what you're looking for at the best bite rate possible. So yeah, that's how you make ground bait, okay? The most important ones you're going to want is the bream mix. You're going to want the roach mix, and that's about it. Oh yeah, so like crucian and gibble cart mix, roach mix, and bream mix. Those are the three that you're going to use most early on in your levels. So yeah, there you go. Don't worry about the dry mix, crushed boilies, PBA. That's way, 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 way in game. Don't worry about that at the end game level. Don't worry about it. So we talked about all of that and I'm, I'll, I'll show you how to level up your skill making. Don't worry. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Okay. So now we're at the menu part. Like I said in the beginning of the video, we're going to talk about everything in the menu here. Okay. So bef while we're still talking about the ground baits here, I'll show you that. I'll jump right to that. So, um, with the ground bait, I'm sorry. Um, skill level. There we go. Okay. So making ground bait all right i'm at 70 percent i'm almost at 100 i'm getting there but this is what you need to do so the more ground bait you make the uh, the more percentage you get so every 10 percent you're going to unlock another skill component level component right and each one will unlock different ones so like level seven you know unlock sunflower seeds you know casters flaxseed um coriander coconut pear then the eighth level will unlock um, boilies, including ground boilies, blackberry, whatever, you know, goes on and on. So this is how you level up to get unlock more to put into your ground bait. So, so, so if you want to make bream mix, but you need a higher skill level of bream, just love, just make some cheap, cheap, cheap ground bait from the store. The most minimum wage, minimum, um, silver costs possible for the ground bait and just level that up over and over until you get the bream mix. Cause you will get there. Or again, you can talk to me in game, DM me in through the game and I'll send you whatever ground bait you want. I do not mind because tonight uh, off topic, but tonight I'm going to grind all the way to hundred. It's going to be a boring, boring night, but I'm going to grind to hundred percent ground bait tonight. The next time you see me, I should be at hundred percent. But anyways, back to the subject. So this is what you will get all of these, the more you upgrade your ground bait. All right. Okay. So that's harvesting ground bait. All right. While we're here, I'm not going to go back out and go to menu and start inventory. We're already here, so we might as well talk about it about skills. So you, this is all your skills right here. you got your float fishing, spin fishing, bottom fishing, marine fishing, harvesting baits, cooking marine, making ground bait, and making lures, okay? So float fishing, same thing, all of that. you got your bottom. Okay, so now you want to know, okay, what's the most important? Because skill levels early on is very important. You don't get many of it, but you need a lot of it. And you need to be very, very cautious on what you spend your so your skill levels on. So say you're into spin fishing, right? Be careful on this. Because remember, it's not everything. It's not all about skills. 
all right so you might think oh i want to put it in my spinning reel watch out you know look what it says first it's only good for casting distance accuracy and spinning even i don't even have this unlocked i use spinning i'm i have a c unlock every map unlocked i reel in trophies monsters i don't have any skill levels on spinning reel you don't need to the casting distance already goes far away you don't need to add an extra casting distance layer on there you already go far far away it's just useless you don't need it, it doesn't do much for you um and then you got the, um, the casting distance and accuracy the accuracy yes you can notice it a little bit but it's not gonna it's not the end of the world it's nothing to talk about so don't a lot of even i did i reset this a lot of times when i was earlier level but to make not to make a mistake for you guys and gals do not upgrade this you don't need to it's just a waste that's what five skill points that you could use somewhere else not good fishing with a spinning rod this one is casting in a control fish so this one's a little more important all right i don't use it because i'm really good at controlling i already have the really i have really good reels i have really good rods so it's already good enough i don't really need to add the control of the fish but say if you're a, you're a low-end player you have a tiny little reel tiny little rod this will add up the control of fish this will make this will make um reeling it in the fish in a little bit more easier so if you max this out, 21% control the fish, you're going to notice it a little bit. It's not going to fight as much. still will fight, but it'll, it'll slow down by a little bit. You, you will notice it, the control of the fish. By reeling it in, it'll be a little easier to reel in, a little bit. So you can if you want. I wouldn't put max it out. I'd probably put three or four levels into it. Gets you around 12% control. It's good enough. Good enough. Um, and then you got spinner baits. So spinner baits is the spinners, like I showed you. I spy, like it's the um, the spiker twos, the hornets. Those are spinner baits, all right. So I would honestly, these are more important. I would max these out because they have a higher chance of catching a trophy and a bigger fish, and that means bigger fish means equals um, more XP and more silver. So yes, I would honestly max out spinner baits if you use spinner baits lots. If you do not use spinner baits much, I wouldn't do it. Only if you use spinner baits a lot, which is spinners, right? So because fishing with spoon, if you love fishing with spoons, you know, all the time and you, you, if you go to, I would max this out. I don't use use spoons. I did have this at three before, but once I unlocked the C, I start, I stopped spinning a lot. So I just took the levels out of this. So, but for early on level, I would recommend if you use spoons a lot, because they will have a better chance of trophy, which means bigger fish, XP and silver. Um, jigging, don't worry about, I, if you want jigging, you can, I jig a lot, but for beginner levels, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Uh, fishing with the casting rod so like i said it's casting rod can do bait casters and all that so that's your that's what the casting rod does is with your bait cast so same thing as a spinner rod for the skill level um bait caster so the, with the bait caster reel this one um casting um distance and accuracy with the bait casting reel plus five percent uh develops uh, together with ability to use a little pro okay so you get a little bit of accuracy i wouldn't really use it if you do have a bait caster it's not it's not it's not that useful i wouldn't recommend it Fishing with a wobbler. If you use wobblers a lot, go ahead. Same thing. And then now we're getting into the more of the higher end ones. Uh, light conventional reels. Yes. And if you want to know, because you're probably like, okay, I got a bait caster. But, you know, there's so many of this. Like, what's a bait caster? You know, conventional reels. There's heavy conventional reels. Which one do I have? I don't know which one I have. Okay, so it'll tell you here, right? So with the light conventional reels, it says 10, 20, and 30. If you go to the reel, it will say what size it is. It'll be the 10, 20, and 30. Or if you have a heavy one, it will say 40, 50, or 60. So that's how you can tell what reel you do have. Do I have a heavy or do I have a low one or a light? That's what it says because your, your reel will say what number it is. So it's either a 30, 40, 50, or a 60. So there you go. And jerkbait, don't worry about that. Okay, so that's spin fishing. Okay, now you got bottom fishing, right? Same thing with spinning reels. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, so a simple bottom rig is what the it's what the what rig you use the most. It's the first one that you get the rig. Um, I recommend this one, especially for lower end beginner players, 100%. Fishing with the feeder rod. I, the reason why I maxed this one out is because I haven't got a chance to reset my bottom fishing yet. But it is important because bottom fishing, you can get a lot of monsters on. I know on spinning, I said do not go for the control of the fish. Well, put four levels into it. Even with spinning and bottom, I wouldn't max it out right at the get-go. I'd probably go up to four on both spinner and the feeder. Go with four. That's all you need. It's... If you, if you have lots of skill levels and you just want to waste them, you can not waste them, but use them. You can max these out. It's fine. It'll, it'll help a little bit. But, you know, if you're really iffy on skill levels, you don't have much skill levels, I would put four on each for the spinning and feeding. Um, that's, don't worry about it. It's another rig type. Don't worry about it. I would not recommend these, using these ones at beginner level. Um, classic hair rig. That's with carp fishing and all that. Um, 
um, slingshots. Don't worry about it. Snowman. So yeah, um, fish with a cart rod. So this is what they got the Fortuna. Same thing. So yeah, there's all your stuff there you need to know about. Um, Marie, I'm not gonna talk about that. Access to end game. Um, harvesting. So yeah. So if you use the shovel and a scoop, I'll show you in a second how to use that. You can unlock making all of these, all these stuff. I remember early in the video I said, oh yeah, we're, um, about the doughs and all that. We came across it quick. This is what it's for. You can make sweet dough. You can make oatmeal porridge and all of that. Making cottage cheese, cheese cube. Who doesn't like cheese? Mmm, this yummy. Um, <laughs> night crawlers. You can get leeches. Also, the gold ones, the gold baits. You can eventually unlock it for free if you get the harvesting skill. So now leeches are gold only, but I have the harvesting skill, so I can scoop up leeches for free. Um, so all of that. So how? So this is relating to uh baits right here. So that this is what this, that category is off of this page right here. All right. So it will, first you're gonna have wet bread unlocked. That's probably all you're gonna have. Then you're gonna have to slowly work your way up to unlocking all of these by making more. All right. So you got cottage cheese dough, which is good for bringing fishing. You got cheese cubes, which is good for cart fishing, and um, also common roaches. I know I like those. Um, garlic dough is good for bringing as well, and a bunch of other varieties of fish. Um, salmonella. I don't I have not used that at all, so I don't really know. Um, sweet dough, oatmeal is good for a bunch of variety of fish. I'm not gonna name because there's so many. Um, yeah. So you got honey dough, car um, cornmeal, egg dough, pieces of fish, which is good for burbot, sturgeon, um, eels, and all of that. Um, yeah, then you go all the way down. So that's how you unlock it, by the skill levels. So say you want to make oatmeal, you go to the store and type in the grocery store oatmeal and put milk. And the milk in, in cottage cheese, the dairy stuff, is going to be at Cory Lake. For your potatoes, for your bacon, for your farmer's market stuff, you're going to want to go to Winding River. No, is it Winding or Mosquito? It's, I believe, oh, I can forget this one. Is it, wait, hold up. I'm at uh, Mosquito Lake. Is it Mosquito? No, it's a winding. Okay, so it's a winding lake for your farmer's market. For your dairy, it's going to be Cory Lake, just just so you know. And that's how you make all of them. Um, cottage cheese, yeah, see, like I said, milk and all that milk, cottage cheese, it's all at Cory Lake. One of the stores there. And they put wheat flour in, your sugar and then start making it. And the more you make, the more your skill level is going to go up. All right, so now we talked about that. So now let's talk about what each option does. This is your messages. We can go talk to people wherever you want. Um, inventory, this is where you can see all your stuff here. You get your all categories here. You got rods, reels, lines. So if you do if so much stuff, you don't want to find it. Say if I want it, it's under hooks. Okay, those are my hooks. There's all your hooks, right? So that's what your inventory is. Not, not too special, nothing too special here. Um, uh, so inventory is a keep net. So this is where all your fish that you catch and you keep is going to be right here. And then you go ahead. Once you have your fish, you're going to want to go to the um, fish station. But you want to go to the cafe first. Which which cafe? Over here? No, oh, right here. So you want to go to the cafe first. Before you go to the fish market, go to the cafe. The cafe will show you what all you can use here. All right? Or spend your, um, use your um, fish. Um, you can sell your fish here for more money than you can the fish market. Every day is going to be different, all right? So right now, right there's a mosquito order for a cruising, cruising cart, five pieces, um, 30 grams each for 10 silver. You know, usually five pieces of 30 gram might pay you around two, three silver, but this offering you for 10. So a big, huge increase bonus there. Bream, a regular 5.55 trophy bream would probably go for around, I'd say maybe 70 silver, 60 silver, if that. But the cafe, if you get one, will pay you 145. So these will just give you extra. If you get fish in it and your um and your fish that you caught is in here, it'll give you a lot more silver. And then after that, you you um sold all your cafe fish. Then you sell all your leftover fish at the cafe here. So you go with this, sell it. I got 41 silver for those carp here, common carp. There you go. There's your silver. All right. So there's your keep net. And make sure that your fish does not go old. Do not. The more it goes old and rotten, the less the fish is going to be worth. Just let you know that right now. Uh, I think you have 24 hours, I do believe, before they're completely rotten. Um, skills, I, I talked about that. And um, yeah, I forgot about making lures. So another important feature is um, lures. So if you go to crafting here and go to lures, you know, these lures are also good. You, they're not really recommended. You don't really need them. A Yama River, you need some of these, but don't worry about it. Foams, eh. I, yeah, I wouldn't worry about it just yet. I might make a video on it later on, but for now, don't worry about it. Um, so skills, we got crafting here. We talked about that. We got your baits right here. You got your ground baits right here. You got your lure making. You got your leaders that I talked about. 
Um, you're going to want to, this is common. So you always want to make sure it's 60 centimeters when you're custom making it. Um, there's your materials. Like I said, you put your 35 kilogram in, put your, there you go, and it's going to make your leader for you. I'm not going to do that because I don't need any right now. But there you go. Shock leaders are for ocean fishing. Hinge leaders, ocean fishing. Well, I think, I'm not sure if you can use hinged off the ocean. You might be able to, but I know you use hinge leaders for ocean. Um, feeder leaders for bottom fishing. So the ones that you'll be using will be common feeder ones. And then you can you can make some food here. Like I know Credinus loves his freshly pickled cucumbers. That's his go-to food. So if you want to make some fresh pickled cucumbers and be like him, you can. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there you go. Let's make some right here. I don't know why I've made some, but you can. There you go. Delicious, freshly pickled cucumbers. Who doesn't like that? All right. Um, you got black caviar, pike caviar, red caviar, caviar. Don't worry about it. You don't have to worry about any of that until like end game. Um, so crafting, we did that. Statistics. So this is a really important one here. So this will show you profile page, everything that you have. Um, you have your skills that you can get from access to from this tab here. You have trophies. This will show you all the trophies that you caught at certain lakes. I know I don't have very much trophies. I get that because I'm not that great. I'm just kidding. Um, I do have a lot of trophies at sea, though. Look at all those bad boy trophies. Holy. Going places. Anyways, those are your trophies, right? <laughs> uh, you got challenges. So this is some challenges that you can do during the game just to get some rewards. You don't get actual rewards. All you get is a certificate and all that. So you can you can work on these if you want. Achievements. So these are like these are Steam achievements. I'm not sure a standalone client has these. I'm not sure, but these are Steam achievements that you want to work on yourself. And then you got your awards. You know, so every year or two, you know, if they come out with an anniversary, a birthday, whatever it is, you might get an anniversary statue or whatever it is. I'm not sure. Um, it says it'll be used later on the game in the bottom right, which I have no idea what they'll be used for. But yeah, there you go. So there's your um, statistics. And I forgot to show you. Uh, there's yeah, there's a catch. Uh, oh yeah, there's no that tab is not in this one. Sorry, I was gonna say something, but it's not in this feature. Okay, sorry. Uh, so yeah, there's your um catch all the fish that you caught. Okay, this shows you what um what rods you use the most. This one shows you what um what rigs you use the most. This one shows you what lure and baits you use the most. I use spiker too, really the most. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, and this is all the ha top baits and food that you use as well. Sorry, this is the baits. So, yeah, right here. I'm not sure why coffee is in this one. You would think coffee is in this one. But, yeah, so there's all your uh, things here. And then you got your food. This is what you are most, what you make most of. I love my coffee. I love my honey. I love my pancakes. So you can see there. All right. Stop the ram rambling there. That's what you get for that. Um, challenges, what I talked about in that tab, so we went over that. Your feed, same thing, this is what your, um, ground bait's gonna be under. Um, competitions, if you wanna, if you're premium and you wanna make your own competition, invite others, you can. If you wanna join one, you can, it is all right here. Um, and then we go to records and ratings, one of the most important tabs in this game as well. So say you're, you wanna know what the body record is, if you wanna know what kind of records of fish have been caught in that lake. So I'm at Mosquito Lake, right? So these are the absolute records of Mosquito Lake right here. If you want to see what people caught weekly at Mosquito Lakes, so you go over the weekly, right? This is all regions. So say you're in America or USA, Canada, whatever it is, and you want to be like, okay, who caught the most in my country? Well, okay, go to Canada's not on here because Canada's not loved enough. So I don't know. <laughs> Nobody likes Canada, I guess. <laughs> but USA is on here. So I, I, I just don't think Canada's big enough to be on here. I don't, that's what I think it is. It's not it's not a well-known country to be around the world, put on the, around the world. Okay, so USA is on here. So I'm Canada, but I put USA region because I don't have Canada on this game, so I have to put USA region. So I want to see what people caught in the USA region for this week. Well, here you go. This will show you all the weeklies and unfortunately you cannot see the weeklies at mosquito you're gonna have to go manually they'll say the river or lake right here so you just go down and find mosquito if there is any mosquito records right now during the week i'm not sure there's winding right here so you just gotta go down i'm hoping r4 if you're watching this r4 please add in an option here that you can see weekly of your what, what water body you're at you can see the weekly that'd be cool but yeah you just gotta look down through your river i'm not sure if i see any mosquito but there may be you just gotta look for it so yeah, that's, that's very important here. You got ultralight records as well, telescopic records, sea records, which they don't have any right now. Oh, that's Mosquito, that's why. Um, yeah, and then you got your ratings, which is the top players of the world and all that. So 
there you go. Uh, ratings, you got a famous. So this is um. So you know how I told that was the absolute records on that page. Well, this is absolute records too, but this is like famous in habit. So this is like the this is like the records of the records, like the absolute records of the absolute records, like the best of the best fish that have ever been caught in RF4 history will be on this page right here. All right, so there you go. You got your map of the lake. There you go. This is the forecast. I'll show you if it's going to rain. It's going to be sunny. It's going to be hurricane. It's going to be tornado. It's going to be an earthquake. It will tell you. Um, you got your settings here. Every, if you're starting RF4, always make sure your V-Sync is turned off. I don't know why V-Sync is even in this world because it just causes lag. That's all it does. So, yeah, I would put V-Sync off. It will make your um, game and your computer run a lot faster. My computer can easily handle all the fancy ass graphics. I can put all this beautiful. It will run just fine, no problems. But it's just more wear on your machine if you put it all. Let's say if I put to a beautiful, all in beautiful, my machine can, my computer can do it with no leg at all. I can run it perfectly smooth. But it's just, it just adds that little tiny layer of more oomph to your computer that it has to run, right? So it's just wear and tear. That's all. That's all it is. So even though my computer can handle all the fanciest graphics, it can do more than 150 FPS. Mine could probably do around two, 240 ish around there, 250. But I just lower everything down, so it's just less wear and tear on my machine, so that I don't have to upgrade one in the next five years. <laughs> like I baby my stuff, right? I baby my stuff. If you want to go all out and you have them, you have the graphics card, you have all that to do. You can put it on beautiful. It's a beautiful game. You can put all the graphics on beautiful and run it just fine, of course. But it's just the wear and tear. It makes your computer run a little bit more faster because it's got to run those fancy graphics. So it's just more wear and tear. That's all I'm worrying about. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend those graphics. Put everything to um, simple. Um, it'll make your computer run a lot faster. My computer runs fast, even though it, on simple or beautiful, it runs the same. Like I said, I got one of the top end machines out there, so I can run whatever I want, but just wear and tear. Okay, so VSync off, blah, blah, blah. There you go. Uh, you got your audio, you got your chat, you got your general, all that. Okay, um, quick help. So this will um, give you some quick help here. You know, it'll tell you what to do. You know, casting is LMB, power cast, LMB and shift, hook is set, is control, RMB, all of that, blah, blah, blah. There you go. And the line clipping is very important in this game. So when you go to reel in or cast a rod, you want to press control plus that will give you the line clip so say if you want you, someone told you a spot okay um common carp here are good at this location with a 30 clip you're gonna you're gonna be like what the hell is a clip well a clip if i have a rod here let's pick up the model one i guess i need it to be assembled damn um do i have any rod i do with the arrow right yeah okay shoot the arrow so control plus or minus see this right here it goes up and down so some spots work really good with with a certain line clip and all that or if you're at a tiny little corner and you don't want the line to go across the lake or across like a house you can line clip it so that's how you line clip control plus and minus that's right there right so there you go and i believe that is everything that i need to talk about in for the beginner levels all right yeah i think that's it i, I know i know for a fact there's going to be a few of you that said oh you missed it you met you missed this or you missed to mention this or oh Oh, you didn't mention this. Yes, I know that. Eh, I always do that. I always miss. <laughs> I miss to um mention some things, but you know that's fine. That's we're we're all human here. So <laughs> if you guys and girls enjoyed today's episode of Russian Fishing for the tutorial guide for beginner players, I'm hoping this helped you out. I really do. And yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, I might make it another one for medium ochre, like level 15 to level 30 ish players. I might or level. 1525 i'm not sure but i'll see if you want that video made let me know down in the comment section below but anyways i hope this video um, helped you in a lot of ways and if it did please remember smash the thumbs up button hit that hell out of the subscribe button and i'll see all of you on the very next episode of russian fishing 4 take care